I mean, we're, we're speaking very uh, today, very soon after the media maelstrom that was that was the very sad case of Nicola Bully um, in the weeks following her disappearance. Um, how, how do you think that that, that case um, that's sort of fresh in our memories now, how do you think that that's sort of compared to the days, weeks and months following Georgina's disappearance? Um, I mean, it was overwhelming, I think, all for those three weeks. I mean, as sad as it was, um, you know, and we always feel for families that have got missing, you know, members, loved ones. Um, but it was just so overwhelming how it just, it, it would just flooded the media. It was everywhere. It was literally everywhere. I mean, everywhere you looked on TikTok, everybody was doing stories and podcasts and, mm -hmm. and videos and every day and night it was and it you know it was in the the news every single news channel had you know was uh, was talking about it and it is a bit you you know i feel you do feel a bit sad as well yourself because you think well we didn't get that for georgina nobody approached us most of the things that i did get we've had to constantly email companies you know uh, media outlets uh, um, tv stations eat to cover like the birthday or anything just constant really really constantly emailing them and nobody's not many of them have really just come to us and said oh can we do a story and so i felt really disappointed and let down and for the other missing people because that week as well there, there seemed to be quite a few other missing cases crop up that I'd never even heard of and you know and I think I'm in the midst of it and I I know every every missing case and, and I'd seen some of these you know and I felt really sad and thought well nobody's sort of helping these and these aren't getting publicity nobody's they're not getting awareness or anything and I just really felt at that time there's a really is a big imbalance of you know uh, again in the along the cases of missing people and you know it makes you think what is the criteria then for a missing person to get all this um what, what do you think that is <laughs> I mean I've had lots of people say because it's because, because of what happened with the police and all that but personally I don't just believe that because I'd also heard I did hear Mark talking on one of the interviews saying about social discrimination and it's not you know as well I did hear that and also um, I do believe that myself because I, lots of people have said it and when we work with Donald McIntyre he said it as well because Georgina's mixed race she's a single mom you know she's from that background um, she's not getting as much people are not really interested as somebody else who's you know who's got a high-powered job and then this sort of thing you know um, middle class and not that Georgina was lower class or anything um, but it was it was the social discrimination and I do believe that I do believe that and because I've looked at quite a few cases and I've I've noticed similar ones to Georgina a single mom you know maybe had some problems in her life she didn't have such you know the way she grew up and things um Georgina struggled coming here from Libya growing up in a, a different country like that because her dad's um Libyan and she did struggle when she came here I think the adapting to it and things um and that's probably what you know what, what a lot of her issues were but she's no different than anybody else doesn't matter who you are or what you are or what you have and, I, and I'm constantly saying I'm constantly writing about it nobody's any different and every missing person deserves you know the same the same investigation the same publicity the same help and support because um, I mean, it was obviously that was speaking about about the press, but um, and or just for a little bit of um context for for viewers, um, as you said, you worked with investigative journalist Donald McIntyre for a number of yeah. months. I think over a year. How long was it? Oh, it was over a year. Uh, yeah, over and then we went into lockdown, and then we ha we hadn't finished because we were doing a podcast and then we did we were just sort of walk going around sort of talking they'd come down and meet us so and then yeah. we went into lockdown so it put it all back because well, i because i remember um there was a there was a virtual press conference um at the time yeah. and 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 at that at that you you spoke um at length about some of the police failings um yeah. in the clay in the case but but also that there was a substantial disservice um due to her color race um and class and i, I remember you saying that um, if she was, you know, Georgina Brown or Georgina yeah. Smith instead of Georgina Garcella, yeah. um, she would have got better treatment of the case. And that was sort of in reference to the police. Um, is, is that still something that you feel? 
not so much with the police team. I, I do notice it sometimes with members of the public or people who come on, comment on, we do get a lot on comments on posts and things. And, and you know, you'll get people making really rude comments about, uh, is she a Muslim? Oh, well, she, you know, then it will be refer reference to Osama bin Laden and, and all sort of things like this. Um, which is really annoying, you know, and I did find myself in the beginning answering them or responding. And then I just found myself getting into so much, getting deep into, you know, all this nastiness and, and vile, you know, um, behaviour from people that I try to ignore it now. Um, but... <laughs> People have said, "Oh, where you know, it's oh, where's that name come from? Is she is she a Muslim? Is she this? Is she that? You know?" And I'll say it's irrelevant. It's not. There's no relevance at all. She's a person. She's a missing person, and she's no different. Doesn't matter if her if her name's Georgina Brown or Garcella. Mm -hmm. um, you know. And for me, I mean, I don't even i I don't even think of my children as mixed race or anything like that. They're all the same. We're all the same. Mm 